Cheat days should be abolished. I'm serious, like cheat days are one of the worst things you can possibly do. Now you might be thinking, but my trainer said, yeah, your trainer may have told you to do a treat, sorry, uh, a treat day. <laughs> treat day, <laughs> cheat days should be abolished. I'm serious, like get rid of them. Cheat days are not a good idea. Now you may be thinking, but Devin, my trainer, he says that you're supposed to have a cheat day. Yeah? Well, okay, I weighed 200 pounds when I was 15 and I have no willpower. Has your trainer ever weighed 200 pounds? Does your trainer have willpower? Because honestly, I don't have the willpower that your trainer has. So this might be something to think about. Now, the reason I say that is I don't believe that you should never cheat. I absolutely believe you should. I'm all about finding those solutions that allow you to eat what you wanna eat when you really, really want it. So explain cheat days to me. Well, first, let me tell you. So I tried the whole cheat day thing. I used to be super clean on the, during the week and then on Saturdays I could have whatever I wanted. The problem was that all week I'd be obsessing about Saturdays, not living in the moment, just like ugh, grinding through the food that I needed to be eating. And then on Saturdays I would eat something and then I'd be like, oh my God, I might miss this this week and then I might miss this and then I might miss this. And I found myself eating like tons of stuff because I might miss it during the week knowing that there's no way I could have it. Plus, during the week, like there might be a birthday party where there's cake, but I can't have a birthday, well, I can't have the cake. I could go to the birthday party, but then you feel like, wow, all these skinny girls can eat this and I can't. I mean, that kind of sucks, right? So instead, what I do is I'm just honest with myself at every meal. Like, do I really want this? So on Friday night, when I go to an event and they have pork belly, I'll take a couple bites and I'll be happy that I took a couple bites. And then over the weekend, I'll be a little cleaner. And then next Wednesday, when I go to a birthday party and there's amazing chocolate peanut butter cake, which is my weakness, I'll be like, I can have a couple bites or I can have a small piece. And then I'm not in this constant battle like I'm going to be so clean right now. And then nothing. Uh, and then, as I said, setting myself up to crave and crave and crave. So anyway, I mean, hey, do what works for you, and if you wanna to listen to your trainer all the time, then listen to your trainer. But when it comes to food and comes to struggle, I know what it's like to feel deprived, and when I was feeling deprived, it wasn't working. When I was making choices and being honest with myself, that's when I lost the weight.